The election of the sixth-term chief executive of the Hong Kong SAR was successfully held, with Zhang Li elected as the chief executive designated by an overwhelming majority of votes. The election is the first Hong Kong SAR chief executive election held after Hong Kong's transition from chaos to order. It's of great significance and far-reaching influence and has drawn wide attention. Li was elected with 99.16% of the votes, which fully reflects the high recognition he gained in Hong Kong society. His election visions and manifesto confront challenges head-on and feature a targeted approach, which shows his commitment to reform and accountability, as well as his pragmatic and for-the-people attitude. The general public in Hong Kong has full trust in and high expectations on Lee, believing that he can recruit talent, achieve the goals with decisive administration, improve governance with an open mind, sincerely serve the public, and unite all sectors of society to write a new chapter. Throughout the whole process of the chief executive election, what people see are friendly dialogues and equal negotiation among all social sectors, are the candidate and all citizens planning for the future of Hong Kong. There was no longer one confrontation or arbitrary attacks and smears. The election is the true embodiment of the spirit of democracy and is a vivid depiction of the hardworking, resilience, and pioneering Lion Rock spirit that the Hong Kong citizens are so proud of. The chief executive election represented another successful practice of the Hong Kong SAR's new electoral system after the election committee elections last September and the election of the seventh term legislative council last December. The advantages and unique features of the new electoral system have been fully demonstrated. Broadly representative, politically inclusive, ensuring balanced representation, and guaranteeing fair competition. The new electoral system strictly implements the principle of patriots administering Hong Kong and is committed to the building and development of a high-quality democracy with Hong Kong characteristics. The new system is a good one that follows the one country, two systems principle and is suited to Hong Kong's realities, which effectively underpins the long-term peace, stability and development of Hong Kong. This year marks the 25th anniversary of Hong Kong's return to the motherland, and the Hong Kong SAR government will see a new team. One can say the following five years will be a critical period toward prosperity after Hong Kong's transition from chaos to order. As long as the new Hong Kong SAR government and people from all walks of life in Hong Kong seize the historical opportunities and endeavor against all odds, Hong Kong is certain to embrace an even brighter tomorrow. The Chinese central government unswervingly implements the principle of one country, two systems and opens up wider to the world. In this process, Hong Kong's unique status and functions are certain to be strengthened. After Hong Kong is back on the right track, it will play a bigger role as a market-based world-class business hub governed by the rule of law and supported by high-end talent. The central government fully supports Hong Kong in participating in the development of the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area and the Belt and Road Cooperation. In the meantime, the country's 14th five-year plan specifically underscores the support for Hong Kong in elevating its position as an international center of finance, shipping and trade, and an international air traffic hub, among others. By integrating itself more into the overall national development, Hong Kong will see more space for development. In China's journey toward national rejuvenation, Hong Kong cannot and will not be absent. The newly elected chief executive will certainly lead the new team of the Hong Kong SAR government and people from all sectors of society to stay united and strive for new prospects of good governance in Hong Kong at a new starting point. The pearl of the Orient will definitely shine brighter. I'm Suma Lu in Beijing. Thank you for watching.